We're inside a five-story nuclear bunker built for Albania's former dictator. Welcome to Ways of the World. We just arrived in Albania and are kicking off our new travel series in the incredible capital city of Tirana. We didn't know much about Albania's painful history before getting here, but we knew we wanted to learn about its shocking and recent communist past. This country was ruled by one of the most oppressive dictatorships in history, and it has only been open to the world since 1991. In today's video, we explore one of the most famous attractions in all of Albania a five-story nuclear bunker built for the ultra-paranoid communist dictator Ember Hoxha. And to dig deeper into Albania's communist history, we also visit the headquarters of the government's secret police at the House of Leaves. This is super creepy. Oh my gosh. I really think that's true. I think, I so. think this is where people were tortured. Yeah. local bus heading like I think 10 or 15 minutes out of town and we're heading to Albania's most famous bunker. It should be super cool. We cannot wait to show it to you. We moved to the front of the bus to ask the bus director when we need to get off because we have no clue. And he was just like, which I think means many more stops to come. So the, the bus director. That's his official title. Director of bus services. You get off the bus? And here it is. Right in the bunker. Let's go. Well, into the mountain. Yeah. It's crazy. These concrete doors. I can't budge them. Dripping. Like setting the mood. I know. Think I'm talking about it. It's down at ourselves. This is weird. So the dictator Enver Hoxha was a five star. Head. He wasn't just like a communist dictator, he was Stalinist, so he ruled by terror and threats, and was also super isolationist, so he closed Albania off from essentially the entire world. So they were friends with Yugoslavia, but then Yugoslavia wasn't communist enough, so he broke away from them. Then he was friends with USSR and Russia, but then Russia wasn't communist enough, and he broke away with them. And that's when we started like perceiving threats that like Russia would attack them with the nuclear bombs. And he was super paranoid and neurotic, and that's why he built all of these bunkers, and that's why they had this five-story bunker right in the middle of like Tirana. So he was crazy, total ass, and they made no friends. And what's crazy is like one of his like government people went to North Korea, and that's where they saw like the bunkers, and they brought that idea back. And they're like, okay, that's what we have to do here in Albania, and that's why he set out to build over two hundred thousand bunkers. Crazy. 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 This was built to be Enver Hoxha's bedroom in the event of a nuclear attack. All these little details are so cool with like the radio. You can feel it. It's a bathroom. It's like a prison bathroom. Wow. I can speak on the phone with Enver Hoxha, the ghost of Enver Hoxha. <laughs> Hello? Enver, the Americans are here. <laughs> it's all over. Can you hear his voice? Yeah, you can hear his voice. This is weird. The voice of a dictator. This is how 
how the borders of Romania looked like back in the day. So everything was covered like barbed wires and heavy military presence and dogs. And if they caught anyone trying to escape the country, in a lot of the cases, most cases, the consequence was death. It was crazy. That's how intense things were around here back then when he was present. This is crazy. Like, it's so cool to be able to learn about a country in the country, you know, like coming from the US and like Venezuela, like I didn't know anything about Albania, we didn't know anything about Albania before coming here, and the history is so recent, like until 1991, this country was isolated from the entire world, and in this room, you can see like how they like force people to like adore him, and they force him to like mourn his death, and we did a walking tour, and the guy said that you have to go to like this pyramid that it's in Mirana in the city and you have to like go and cry there like once a year after he died. Like it's crazy. It's just like the North Korea of Europe, basically. And I don't know what to do. I think you can open this door. <laughs> I don't know why this is so scary. It's dark. <laughs> It's locked. The door is locked. Good thing we're safe. Just kidding. Albanian home would have looked like during the communist dictatorship. It's all like original furniture and it was made domestically in Albania. Like all of it was essentially the same. There weren't like different styles, just like a few different sizes. And in general, Bunkart has done such a great job with like all the exhibits. It's so cool to like see it and just like, you can smell. It smells like an old home, like a grandma's perfume. <laughs> and they have like the old like propaganda films on TV just like rolling and I don't know. Yeah. And everything's original too. Yeah, it's really cool. Come see where I cook my, my bike. <laughs> this is where I, I make our meals. Oh. Stove's on. <laughs> Lunch is coming. This room is dedicated to all the people that died building this bunker just because of a paranoid sociopath. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, I mean, it's cold here, but it's also like heavy. I don't it's know. Chills. It's heavy. Yeah. we're just out from like the side of the mountain that was crazy we only show you like 10 percent of the bunker like you have to come to tirana you have to go to bunk art one there's two bunkers we already visited the other one i'm going to put some footage here but this one is outside the city and you have to check this one out we're headed back into the city center we're going to visit a place called the house of leaves which was essentially the albanian dictatorship's version of the kgb it's where they did surveillance on the common citizens and also tortured them, the political prisoners and stuff like that. Should be intense and creepy and interesting. First, we have to find a bus.
sketchy at all. Entering the torture chamber. Or is this a jail? A jail or a bunker? There's clothes in here. Like prisoner clothes? I don't know. Um, um, it's so cold down here. Uh -huh. This is a little bit creepy. <laughs> hey, this is where people were tortured. This is super creepy. Oh my gosh. I really think that's true. I think, I so. think this is where people were tortured. Yeah. I think the shirts represent like victims. And there's like this really disturbing photos that I'm not gonna film, but <gasps> Let's see where it ends. If this doesn't say anything to you. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go to the other part. There's no warning for this either. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> that was crazy. Well, that was intense. You can't like. <laughs> you can't like unsee that. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Leaves. Welcome to the House of Leaves. So the House of Leaves was the actual like, building or headquarters for the Sigurumi, which were like the secret like, surveillance police and like state propaganda. They said that like torture and those kind of methods were abolished, I guess, after like they broke with Yugoslavia in the 1940s. But they proved that like torture and all sorts of like crazy things happened in this house until like 1991 at the end of like the communist dictatorship. So this house is haunted. It's so creepy here. It's creepy. Things happen here. And you can like feel it. This was the monthly propaganda magazine that they published during the dictatorship. It's called In the Service of the People. <laughs> That's where they spread all their damn lies. <laughs> Screw you. Ever. Sigurumi and Ever. The stories are intense. Like, I've never been anywhere like this. Like, it feels so and it's so recent intense yeah it's so recent like these people are like alive you know and they're telling the stories that's crazy i 
in this room here, they have like all the recording devices, I guess. So like when you enter the museum, inside each room, it says this room is bugged. And then these things have like the numbers of like each room. And right now this one from like room 10, like you can hear everything that they're talking downstairs. <laughs> so they were really bugged. I thought yeah, it was a joke. That was a joke too. <laughs> Let's see, Gordon is in the living room and that is room 21. And I'm going back to find the thingy, whatever recorder that says 21. Let's see if we can hear it. Let's see. I found, I found it. <laughs> Did you hear me? I could hear like something, but I couldn't hear what you were saying. What were you saying? I was like, when are we going to go out for beers? What are we doing in Albania? Enver, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> are you out there? It wasn't that clear. Uh, yeah, but it's a big room. I don't know where the bug was. Yeah, exactly. Yes. All these things that we've seen today have been crazy and depressing. And you might be wondering why are we going to all these places if they're so terrible but we're gonna be here for three months two months who yeah. knows right and yeah and it's a very recent history so like we have to learn about it like most of the people that we will interact with here in albania have like lived through this to some extent mm -hmm. so we had to learn about it and get like educated and yeah. understand more like where they're coming from yeah you know? exactly and it's crazy to see like what we've seen so far with albanians and experience with them like mm -hmm. they're the most like genuine kind and nice people funny and they've been through so much like so recently is the thing that blows my mind yeah. and they like over, i think they're making over, up for lost time yeah now. yeah so we can't wait to show you more of albania we promise the next episode is going to be less depressing but this was think, super interesting though. Yeah, Definitely it was worth very, very interesting. Out worth checking out. We didn't show you everything to make sure that you just come here, live it yourself, see it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks Bye. for watching. We saw a lot today. So we earned a beer. Cheers. Cheers. We're a free Albania. That's Italian beer. <laughs> They didn't have Albanian beer. Yeah. Next time. Bye. And the readout. And the battery is dying just now. It just stopped and gave us a look. I'm out of sliding down the hill. Update. This is terrifying. I just want to be home. I think we can get up now. Great hiding, though. <laughs> I don't think he saw you under your pashmina. <laughs>